Black Ambition. Then, watch this. During his early years, Jim Carrey found out that he had dyslexia. It created a barrier for him in school. While in elementary school, Jim was a quiet boy who had no friends. However, he discovered that he could make friends by making his fellow students laugh. This discovery became Jim's turning point, but the results weren't instantly positive. Jim began to do amusing things both at school and at home. At home, he thoroughly enjoyed making faces and mimicking in his mirror. At school, one teacher once wrote on his report card, Jim finishes his work first and then disrupts the class. Jim's ambition as a comedian went public when he began to think beyond just entertaining other students. At the age of 10, Jim already knew what he wanted to become, a stand-up comedian. He sent a letter to Common Dean and actress Carol Burnett with the hope of being discovered, but first, he had to work around his learning disability, dyslexia. After many trials and practice, Jim soon overcame it by developing a phenomenal memory. But Jim's troubles were far from over. His mother saw no sense in his ambition. Although his dad managed to encourage it, his mom was alarmed about it and would often send Jim to his room. Jim, however, saw this as a need to practice more in front of the mirror. Another hurdle was money. Jim was from a poor family who lived in a low-rent townhouse in a rough district. When Jim was in 10th grade, he had to run 8-hour job shifts at a factory at night and attend school during the day. He would look so exhausted in class that he could barely understand what his teachers were teaching. Jim couldn't make friends at school because he feared that his friends might get close and discover his embarrassing poverty. So, with no relationship and little learning, Jim felt that school wasn't a place for him. He dropped out of school at the age of 16 in 1978. Jim's family then moved to Canada where they lived in a beat-up yellow Volkswagen camper van for a full eight months, parked in campgrounds. Here, Jim continued to struggle to get jobs and make a name for himself. His father drove him to Toronto for his debut at Yuck Yucks, a comedy club. Jim's impersonations failed miserably, and he began to doubt his capabilities to become a professional comedian. Regardless, he continued to polish his skills at open mic nights and regular paid shows until he was discovered by Rodney Dangerfield, a comedian who signed Jim on to open his tour performances, eventually taking young Jim to Las Vegas. From there, Jim decided to try his luck at Hollywood, and in 1982, he appeared on a stand-up show. By the early 1990s, Jim was playing lead roles in movies like The Mask, which earned him a Golden Globe Award. The rest is history. Most people who are born in poverty often wonder what could be the solution to their problem. The solution is simple. Ambition, ambition, massive ambitions. Growing up in a poor home is like climbing a slippery mountain. If climbing a mountain is tough, climbing a slippery mountain requires even crazier determination. You have to be willing to fight hard. You have to be willing to overcome several obstacles among which are doubting Thomases around you. Jim Carrey's mother didn't believe in his dream. Adding that to the poverty of the family, you can see what you get. Marcus Aurelius Antonius said, and I quote, A man's worth is no greater than the worth of his ambitions. You are what you aspire to be, because you might eventually be what you aspire to be. Raise the bar of your dreams. Raise the bar on what you want out of life. Expand what you think is possible. And one day, you'll look back and wonder how far you've gone. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next videos. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.